like a fucking jammy boy. <laughs> What's, What's good, bro? What's up, bro? Hey, shit. Um, glad to catch up to you. Uh, Francis Ngannou, Tyson Fury. Mm. Did you watch that? I did watch it. I, I actually saw it the next day on uh, YouTube. Quality wasn't that great, but I did see it. What's your thoughts on the fight? Um, I mean, I think the decision was fair. Um, I wouldn't argue with a draw, though. Mm. But I don't think Ndanu did enough to win, and I don't think Tyson Fury did enough to win either. So both of them, they really didn't do shit. But... Uh, what I was impressed with is Donald being an MMA fighter coming into the boxing world and performing like the way he did. So I really enjoyed his performance more than Tyson. Mm. Tyson was supposed to wash him, and he couldn't. So I, I like that fight a lot better than how McGregor performed against Mayweather, if that makes sense. You know what have, I'm saying? have you ever trained MMA fighters? I trained an MMA fighter before I came back to boxing, yeah. How difficult it is to make that transition? It is. It's it's a little bit harder only because um, in MMA, you have to... The, the good thing about MMA fighters is that they can fight both southpaw and right hand. Mm. I mean, orthodox. But... It's a lot of stance switching in MMA? Yeah, it's a lot of stance switching. However, you can't do certain boxing stance in... MMA, like you can't go into MMA with a boxing stance because you're you're subject to get uh, uh, kicked in the leg, in your leading foot, uh, your balance could be a little off. And for a wrestler and a jujitsu artist, it's 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 easy for the takedown. So you got to make those adjustments. For an MMA guy going into boxing, now his stance is square all the time. So he has to learn how to bleed his body and keep the half a man stance the whole time. So um, it is a little bit difficult. But when I worked with an MMA fighter, we actually, I was his boxing coach. So I was his stand-up coach. Mm -hmm. And then we fought at Madison Square Garden in, uh, on pay-per-view. You had to throw that last part in there. Yeah, that, I had that to, was a man. stunt. Yeah, yeah, that was a little, <laughs> a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. That was back in the day, though. You know what I'm saying? Do you want to see a rematch? No. No. Some people are calling it a robbery, Rob. Some I, people are right. saying Tyson did enough to win. You can't call a fight a robbery when it's seven rounds to five or eight to four mm. in any party. You can't call a fight a robbery. If a rob if if you had the scorecard seven to five or eight to four, you can't call it a robbery. But if you had it ten rounds to one, I mean nine rounds to one, eight rounds to two, mm. and one of the judges had it that way, then yeah, I could I could say that it was a robbery if they gave it to the other party. But that's not the case, bro. Like that that none of them really did shit. So for real for real, I still would have gave it 7-5 to Fury, or I wouldn't argue with a draw. My opinion. 